video, we look at Jalen Ferguson, how he performed in 2019. Uh, the, the majority of the plays I pulled are pa uh, pass rushing uh, uh, reps or examples of him rushing the quarterback. Um, I do say this in the video, but I think he came a long way um, as an edge defender and, and as a run defender. I think it's uncommon to see anybody move him off the ball. Those are all very good qualities moving forward. It's important for me to remember that, that he is a rookie and that there were a lot of things thrust upon him with the injury of Cornell McPhee. And then I think a lot of times he's out there thinking and overthinking uh, instead of reacting. I remember hearing how uh, Coach Martindale was excited about him as an edge uh, rusher and, um, and that they had had you know, a lot of discussions about the art of rushing the quarterback. Uh, you don't see any of that from Ferguson. Um, anything outside of a bull rush is, is rare to see. Perhaps that's due to uh, overthinking. But I think it was a little disappointing, you know, based on some of the things that we heard coming out of the draft. Um, I think Orlando Brown is someone we can look to as, as a uh, player that made a huge jump in year two, certainly Lamar. Um, but in order for, for Jalen to be successful, he's, gonna be, he's going to have to be effective rushing the quarterback. Uh, 2.5 sacks is not gonna get it done as the uh, rush backer for the Ravens. So Ferguson's uh, bull rush is this is his go-to. Uh, we all know that um, it worked for him very well in college. It, in and of itself, it will not work. Um, one of the things that he's going to need to work on is this this uh, tendency he has to come straight up the middle, um, and, and he gets his feet stopped pretty easily that way. As long as the tackle can get hands on a shoulder. Let's say, like he does in this case, he stops his feet and he's done. So you want to see him get into half the man. The way that, that, that really he needs to approach this, not that sometimes you can't go straight at a tackle, is to get up field first, try to get the tackle to open up, uh, and then get into your bull rush. And then, most importantly, you got to get off that thing. Uh, here, here he's going to make an effort to get upfield a little bit. You can see the tackle open up just a little bit, open his hips just a little bit inside. And these are the kinds of things that you'll hope to see him uh, pick up on more as he moves forward. But this is also how I'd like him to, him to start the majority of his bull rushes, to get upfield first, try to get the tackle to open up a little bit, then get into him. And he's got to come off lower. There's no question uh, here he tries to swat, but you can see the tackle gets in a, his outside arm on the sh outside shoulder of Ferguson, and bam, stops his feet, he's done. Uh, but moving forward, that's what you want to see, him come upfield um, into a half man, then turn into the uh, tackle, and ultimately have a better plan as to how he's going to get off blocks. You'll see Ferguson uh, able to jolt this tight end here, but then he's going to reset and sort of resume the bull rush. Um, and we'll watch it off the line. I do think, again, he comes off. He could come off a lot lower here to get under this man. He's a bit straight. He's certainly straight at the tight end, does not threaten inside or outside. Um, there's a certain point in this rush, as you see the tight end take that hop back, and he's jolted a bit where he's off balance. There's no question. You see Ferguson with um, pretty close to full extension with his inside arm, and then he's going to attempt to grab the wrist. But he, he's got to be violent with his hands at this point, and he's got to disengage. He's got to shed. He doesn't. You don't want to see him just push this arm. You want to see him grab this arm and violently rip away or swat away with either arm. He's just got to get off, but he doesn't. He, you see him go back into this bull rush. And as he does, he's effectively stopping and starting. Again, we, we see him come off the line a little bit high, and he kind of goes to his go-to straight at the man. Not good hand placement here. Um, this this is not a you know an offensive lineman. This guy's just hanging on for dear life, uh, and he gets you know manhandled a little bit. But ultimately, he does a good job because again, you see Ferguson stopping and restarting, not getting full extension on his bull rush, not driving through. Again, not good hand placement, and um, he goes back to it. So he's got to be able to jolt the man this way, drive through him, and disengage all in one uh, one or two motions. This stopping and restarting, um, that won't get the job done.
Here he is uh, inside at three tech. He does a good job uh, in terms of hand placement off the ball. I think he could come off lower. Um, he's really in a position to make something happen here. You can see the guard's got one arm. They're playing with one arm at this point, and he's off the ground. You want to see Ferguson from this bull rush lock out his arms, uh, get full extension, and shed. Now, he, it may be another year in the weight room where he's able to actually rip this guy to the side, um, but there's also an opportunity for him to lean back uh, with full extension here, kind of swim over with his left arm and win inside that way. Uh, the first thing perhaps I'd, I'd have him work on is what you see the nose tackle do here. Uh, also working a bull rush to the quarterback. And at the end, he's able to rip uh, violently and, and, and disengage from the blocker. And that's the first, perhaps the first thing I'd ask Ferguson to, to be working on. Uh, instead, he sort of does that stop and start again, um, uh, which is um, uh, frustrating because he is, he is pushing that guard around. But you see him have to work kind of laterally there and not quite know how to, how to get off. If he's going to be successful as a pass rusher, ultimately with him, uh, it's going to be about hands and it's going to be about um, deception at the line of scrimmage. Uh, it's going to be about nuance, real subtle nuance on his part, but also in, in the as far as studying the opposition, uh, picking up on little tells, um, things through time, hopefully he'll get better at. But there is no deception off the ball here. He comes off high again. He allows the defender or the uh, lineman onto his shoulder pad and that stops his feet. So he has no plan inside here to deceive and he's not working to keep hands off of him. You can see he does get into the inside part of the tackle and knock him back, but that, that simple pop of the outside arm to the shoulder pad stops his feet. Um, and there's not a lot of panic to beat that inside move. Watch the tackle, how effortlessly he kind of slides to stop that rush. Uh, this is an interesting rush here. It kind of illustrates what we mean about hands and getting better with his hands. I do uh, appreciate his effort here. Kind of spending himself, diving on the ground, gets back up, and uh, makes sure he picks up that football. Um, off the ball, he should read pass right now. I think he does. You see he's got his outside arm to the wrist of the tackle. I, I'm not sure how it is he can't control that a little bit better, either by ripping down um, or lifting up. Uh, the other thing is I can't see his inside arm, but at a certain point he gets that freed, but he doesn't do anything with it. He's got an opportunity here uh, to really control this tackle's outside arm with either of his hands. He could do a, a uh, rip up with his inside arm, but he doesn't. And uh, he sort of flushes the quarterback. The quarterback, I'd say, flushes himself here. But, um, again, not a very effective job of him in terms of how he's using his hands and how he's freeing himself um, from the uh, tackle's hands. This is a better example, I think, of what you, you would hope to see. He gets upfield, like we've been talking about. He gets outside, gets into half of the uh, offensive tackle, uh, puts his inside arm right underneath the uh, uh, pads, lifts this guy up, and with his outside arm, swats away that, that uh, outside arm of the tackle. Finds the, finds the quarterback, sheds, and then pressures. This is, this is a pretty bad job picking up either one of these uh, blitzers here, but, um, but I, I like Ferguson on this particular rush. I have to believe this is some, some sort of stunt, this working inside here. Not much of a fake outside. I think Pierce is supposed to come around here. Um, but still, you, you see, uh, what's his name, Sealer just get killed here, crushed into Pierce, and Pierce really can't make that move outside. Um, if it's not that sort of, if it isn't a stunt designed to get Pierce outside, then Ferguson's interior rush here is pathetic, you know, not good. Um, in any case, it's not much of a, a pretense for a rush. He's got to be prepared um, if, for example, this guy releases him to get pick up Pierce, he's got, got to be prepared to win inside here. I don't see any kind of moves, uh, hand uh, effort to get free of these hands here. 
but it's it's kind of gangly looking, you know, just as a play on the whole. In terms of um, play recognition or just general awareness, I'm sure there are a lot of subtle things that he'll improve. Here you see um, Cincinnati bring a wide receiver in uh, outside of his alignment. It really doesn't. You see Bynes keys in on that right away, and that that's important to note. But Ferguson's really concentrated on what what it is he's called to do. You see him instantly kind of work inside. In other words, this this receiver motioning outside of him might tell him something, and I don't think it does here. Uh, he can't let this this receiver or this tight end or whatever it is reach him. But Bynes makes a spectacular play. If you back it up, uh, once that motion happens, you see Bynes really, really key into that. He's off. He's off. See, that's the kind of play recognition you want Ferguson to be aware of, or those sort of pre-snap move. I think play recognition um, is an area you definitely expect to see improve. Here, as the, uh, as the backside contain here, uh, this is in the playoff game, you see him chase, and it takes him a good little bit, this is Ferguson, to realize that the quarterback still has the football. Uh, if he stays home there, instead of he's off to the races straight off the snap. Here's another instance of him kind of losing backside contain, or really losing the football here. Um, you can see him pursuing, pursuing down the line of scrimmage long after the ball uh, has been pitched on this end around. Um, and I wonder if Tennessee watched this. This is the opposite sort of end of the spectrum. Excellent play recognition. Staying square to the line, uh, not chasing these blocks uh, and the counter motion. Picking up on this wide receiver right away, coming across the formation and the notion that this is going to be a boot to that side. Gets into this blocker. Makes the uh, wide receiver not be able to stay flat. Instead, have to go around, buying the uh, corner more time and then gets out after the quarterback. So that's excellent. Ferguson came a pretty good way as a uh, run defender through the, the course of 2019. Um, and I'm not really too concerned about him as a run defender. You see him do a nice job here um, setting the edge and forcing Bell back inside, uh, able to control with his length the uh, left tackle and get off that block, and get it outside, forcing the back back inside. And there's times uh, during the year where he doesn't do this as well. Um, but as the year progressed, I think he showed uh, more and more aptitude this way. The other thing, um, it's really difficult to find a piece of tape where he's getting actually moved off the ball one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. This might be my favorite uh, Jalen Ferguson play from 2019. Um, Comes at a crucial point in the Seahawks game. It's third down and four. Um, we're only up by a score at this point. Uh, off the ball, you see him drop into coverage. He's going to get in that throwing lane, take away this slant route. But he stays with the play. Even, it, even though it appears uh, Wilson's going to be wrapped up here, he gets out of that. Uh, sort of turns into a QB spy at this point. Watch him get out and get contained on Wilson. Uh, lay a violent hit, hit on him. You can see the receiver is wide open. This is going to be a conversion. And as I said, we're only up a score at this point uh, in their stadium. It's a big hit causing that football to wobble and come up short. Just short. And a really nice play by Ferguson here.